Harry Potter has been infused in pop culture for over 20 years, and during this time, many other movies have made direct references to the books and film series. See some of the more subtle and direct references to your favorite heroes, villains like Voldemort, and other elements like Quidditch. Before you watch, click subscribe! You'll join our notification squad and be the first to know of new Screen Rant content. Yeah, 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 sure step aside, kid. We're in a- yeah! <laughs> Monsters, Inc. The friendship between Mike and Sully is the core of Pixar's Monsters, Inc., and the animators wanted to show their rapport in personalities through a series of short scenes. One of these scenes, which appeared before the film and in some end credit sequence, showcased the buddies playing a game of charades. Sully got the subject of Harry Potter, and Mike has trouble piecing together the obvious clues. Towards the end, a desperate Sully even dresses up in Harry's signature glasses and places a lightning bolt on his forehead. But Mike remains stumped. The reference was fitting because both Monsters, Inc. and the first Harry Potter film came out in the same year. Shrek the Third The Shrek franchise is known for spoofing all types of pop culture properties, ranging in everything from The Matrix to Aliens. Shrek the Third featured a small moment Harry Potter fans would recognize. A small bird lands on a tree and gets flicked away as feathers fly through the air. The evil tree in Shrek is very similar to the Whomping Willow from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. The willow does the same thing to a small blue bird who gets a little too close to the branch. I'm Batman-ing. I'm Batman. I'm awesome. The Lego Batman Movie Warner Brothers went all out for gathering characters to be featured in the Lego Batman movie. The film cleverly uses a plot where the Joker becomes disappointed with the typical gallery of Batman villains and resorts to using some of the most evil characters of all time. When the villains are released from their prison, one of the first to escape is Lord Voldemort himself. The Lego form of Voldemort flies through the skies and uses his wand to cause all types of brick destruction. Sure, this one's a little more obvious, but we had to include it for the coolness factor alone. So you, uh, Rock, curse upon your children. Hmm, I don't think rocks have children, honey. The Ant Bully The Ant Bully follows the story of a young boy who takes out his frustrations on a large anthill. A wizard ant named Zok decides to shrink the boy down to confront him and plead with him to stop destroying their home. In a promotional clip for the movie, several ant characters audition for roles like the wizard. One ant gets a little confused and shows up for the audition fully dressed as Harry Potter. The ant has a small cloak and even tries to cast a spell with a wand. <laughs> Don't look where I'm pointing! The Simpsons Movie The Simpsons Movie was a long-awaited feature-length production based on the hit show. To help celebrate the film's arrival on the big screen, Homer Simpson purchases a pig and dresses up the animal as several different characters. During a quick gag, we see Homer transform the pig into a character he calls Harry Plopper. The pig features Harry Potter glasses and a lightning bolt on his forehead. The reference was made because the Simpsons movie was released in 2007, the same year Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix was also released. Too bad the Potter films couldn't include Bart Simpson attending Hogwarts. Are you ready, my son? Yes, I am. I think. The Lego Movie The Lego Movie was packed full of pop culture references. It was easy to miss some of the biggest ones. Many fans paid close attention during a meeting of the Master Builders when superheroes, athletes, and even Millhouse from The Simpsons met up together. In an epic movie moment, Hogwarts Headmaster Dumbledore shares a small scene with the Lord of the Rings as Gandalf. The two white-bearded wizards look similar and are key mentors to some of the best heroes from both franchises. Have the young man step forward. As you wish, Dumbledore. I'm Gandalf! It's pronounced Dumbledore. A quick scene made you wish more Harry Potter characters made appearances in the film to help assist Emmett on his journey. Zumgardor. Ah! Oh, oh, no, no, no. Ah! Get it off of me! Get it off of me! Get it off of me! Despicable Me 2 Before Lucy and Gru were happily united as a couple, the two characters battled each other like an old pair of spies. In Despicable Me 2, one of their first scenes together features a battle that may seem all too familiar. Lucy and Gru both shoot lasers at each other and the two beams clash in the middle. Look closely at the colors of the lasers. They are same exact colors Harry and Voldemort battle each other with when blasting each other with wizard wands. The way the lasers hit each other is very similar to how wand attacks look in Harry Potter as well. There's no escaping, Mr. Turner. I already said that. No, I said it. Are we gorgeous or what? The Fairly Odd Parents. 
Wishology. The Fairly Odd Parents has spent years showcasing their love for various forms of pop culture, and the TV movie Wishology took on sci fi franchises like Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter. The show wasn't shy about showcasing love for all things Potter. Early in the television special, Timmy Turner wishes to become Timmy Totter. After his transformation, Timmy encounters several other characters based off of Harry Potter, including Vicky playing the role of Moldy Wart, a clear spoof on Voldemort. The wizarding fun lasts for a few minutes until Timmy is zapped back to his home. Let's go to Eduardo for his reaction. Oh! I'm gonna kill you, fatty pack! Rio 2. One of the fun scenes featured in Rio 2 includes all of the red birds clashing against the blue birds in their adapted game of flying soccer. The film combines an element of both soccer and Quidditch as the small nut used for a ball is about the same size and shape as the golden snitch. I hate this job. The flying back and forth action between the characters is similar to a lot of Quidditch action seen in various Harry Potter films, and the crowds watching the game sits in their separate groups, much like the students at Hogwarts. Wow, there you have it. What reference did you like the most? Are there any we missed? Should there be an animated Harry Potter film? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to Screen Rant on YouTube so you can stay up to date with our awesome videos.